Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you something really cool I found out really fast. So, um, in case you didn't realize, when you're fighting the duck boss, if you die, you go into spectate mode. And if you use the WASD keys, you can actually move your camera around separate of any of the players. So what you can do is take your camera inside of the farm here and get right up into the corner of the farmhouse here so you can see the whole thing and figure out exactly where the duck chest spawns. Well, this isn't that useful if you are trying to get yourself the the, uh, the duck chest, but what you can do is you can call up your friend and you can take turns telling each other where the chest is, or what you can do is join on an alternate account and see the chest at the same time you're playing the game. So the way you would actually do this is by downloading a different application to run Roblox, and I specifically have this application. Um, let me see what the name of it is. I believe it's Microsoft, the Microsoft version of Roblox. Let's see. Yeah, so I got it on the Microsoft Web Store, and it basically allows me to have two sessions of Roblox going at the same time, because one uses Roblox Player, and one is within a different application. There are similar applications that you can use, but this is by far the most trusted one. This particular application is for Windows, and I will send a link for that down below. And uh, it's absolutely free, completely safe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I've been using it for years. Um, so you can just log in with your alternate on that, and then join your existing server and position it right up here. And then once the duck boss um, dies or whatever, you switch over back to your other thing, check where it is, and then run through and fly up to it with a jetpack as soon as it spawns. And this is by far the fastest way to get the duck mount. I was able to get it within like 10 minutes on this account. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what I have here. I have uh, the duck mount, as you can see. I got the toy sword with this method. It got a lot of tickets. It got a lot of good stuff. Uh, yeah, it works pretty freaking well. So um, if you need a loadout to kill the boss well, um, by far the best loadout to go with to destroy the wheat field would be napalm, flamethrower, and chainsaw. If you don't have chainsaw, you can just use baseball bat. And if you need to kill the duck bat boss fast, you're gonna wanna use a gun with a high damage per second that can still fight at range. So by far, M249 is the best here. Don't use the minigun because it's non-reloadable. If you don't have the M249, you can go with the P90, although you'll probably have the M249 if you have the P90. Uh, Scar H, same thing with that. Uh, low ranks, you're going to want to go with uh, AK-47. Eh, FAMAS is okay, but the accuracy is better on the AK-47. Um, the Thompson is good. The HK is alright. I mean, basically anything that has a high damage per second. I'm going to put a link down below um, for what guns have the highest damage per second. If you don't have any of those uh, for secondaries, you're going to want to go with um, the Stair M because by far it has the highest damage per second. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out and I'll see you all next time. Peace.